Well, hey there, Cosmic Kittens and Planetary Puppies of the Divine Feminine Tribe. Remember, this is energy, not gender. If you identify, this is for you. It's your girl, Cats and Wonder Intuitive, and I am back with your forecast for the week of Thanksgiving. Remember, this is timeless, so whenever you come upon, it's the right time for you. I want to cut through my crap real quick. Uh, remember, if I jive with your vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have cards, pull along with me that we can tap into these energies that will be influencing the Divine Feminine over the coming week. And you can see how that's going to influence areas in your life like love, career, family, friends, Thanksgiving dinner, and most importantly, you. So on that note, remember, take a resonates, pitch out the rest. Take every reading with grain of salt. Remember to report anybody saying they're me, telling you you need a reading. I don't do that. If you want a reading, I've got specials down below. I've got a special forecast just for things the week of Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving. So everything's down below in the description box. All right, let's hit, let's hit it. What a week. Monday's going to be pretty calm. Calm before the storm. Or calm before... Everything gets all exciting, okay? Tuesday, Sun moves in Sagittarius. Wednesday, the new moon is in Scorpio and Jupiter goes fully direct. And on Thursday, Sagittarius, the moon moves into Sagittarius. This is gonna be a lot of fast moving stuff. In fact, when I had meditated earlier, uh, whenever I, I say Sag, Sun in Sagittarius, I see the Eight of Wands tarot card, and it, a lot of people equate that to arrows of love, but it's also about fast-moving things, opportunities. Everything's moved very quickly, ah, but it's good and exciting. It's stuff for you, especially. <clears throat> now, here's a, there's going to be two things. This, I saw this over in the Divine Masculine, uh, and I'm seeing it here in the Divine Feminine. There is a small group uh, that have been putting up like say, there's your door banging on it, you're pushing the, the couch and all your furniture now is up against that door, blocking the windows out, you know, uh, caging yourself in because you don't want to let go of something, okay? Whoever that's for, okay? Spirit is now gonna blast that open, like with the strongest, cannons ever but what's coming in is the stuff that you that's yours okay let's get to it all right so we definitely have this is one of the strongest energies for the divine feminine this week we've got four leaf clover okay good luck good fortune Okay, we also have coins. So there is this flow of abundance. Some of you may be getting raises, extra money, um, or maybe a new job opportunity for some of you. Now, overall energy for the Divine Feminine is maybe some of you have not seen a lot of things moving in certain areas you've been working really hard in. Okay, um, maybe you've been making changes and everything just kind of, of course, everything has to settle down and quiet down a little bit before letting other things, you know, new things come in or get moving again but here's the thing for those of you who just wonder am i on the wrong path am i am i butting my head up against this invisible wall should i just change my direction blah 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 you're about to get a sign that you're exactly where you're supposed to be and that is the right direction you've been going in the whole time in the physical plane this is the tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead something is going to come in for the divine feminine who feel that you know, what more can I do? I don't know what, you know what I mean? What what can I do to make movement in this area, whether it's love or career, home, whatever it is for your family? Spirit is bringing the signs in, in the physical plane. So pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to the signs, okay? Your dreams, okay? Now, <clears throat> some of you are actually getting a little depressed around this time of year. We do have the vulture, depression, anxiety, worrying that someone's against you. Some people, you know, some of you watching this might be stressed out about going to Thanksgiving dinner, maybe because somebody always starts shit with you, or maybe because somebody's coming, you're like, oh, I don't want to go now because that. If it doesn't feel good, don't do that. If it feels good, do that. Do not let anybody. Uh, 
How's the wording? They're giving me all these different words like manipulate or guilt or, you know, to kind of force you into a very uncomfortable situation. Okay. Trust that beautiful intuition of yours because you deserve to be happy. Okay. You deserve to feel good. You should feel safe wherever you are because you feel safe here. That makes sense okay now we do have a fire and this is another thing on the divine feminine side there is a passion relit for those of you who just haven't i just am not feeling it i'm trying and i'm just kind of every day step by step trying to get but it doesn't hold and then you get excited and you, you know you get i got the energy i'm gonna do the boom and you burn it out on as quickly as possible because you i look i gotta do this while i'm up you know this is going to be a steady, strong energy. It's almost like something's getting relit or the switch turned on inside for the divine feminine. And it all has to do with our soul, that heart energy, strong emotions. Remember, step back before you react, <laughs> okay? Passionate love, okay? Or being very adamant about what you love. That is going to be key for us this week. All right, let's, I'm going to get the lunar. Nomad Oracle, the Lenormand Oracle here. All my decks are listed in the description box below, too. Not my decks, but. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Spirit. Spirit. Okay. We'll pull three more in just a second. Okay. <clears throat> Bouquet and Heart. Some of the Divine Feminine are about to get a big surprise in the romantic love area here this week. This week, okay? Spirit saying, you know, be open. You're not gonna miss this person. You're not gonna miss whatever, uh, it's definitely a gift for the heart. It's something, you know, I said the switch goes on. That's what's going to kick that in. And everything's just going to light up. I, I can't even describe the feeling. And we also have the heart and the book. The book is about secrets, knowledge, the heart, love. You may get a message or some kind of information about a secret admirer, something that's been, I know it sounds creepy saying they've been watching you, but you know, if you're on social media, you know, um, or someone who's, you know, maybe you've seen, maybe they've seen you at your work, maybe you've seen them at their work, you know, or whatever, and getting a message from them. It's gonna be a very pleasant spread. They could even be bringing flowers or a connection with flowers or even a library, Spirit says. I don't know who that's for. Okay, but there's definitely a lot of good feeling in that passion. It's like there's a switch going on in our hearts, guys. Finally, for some of us who've been feeling like, I'm not feeling it. I mean, I feel good, I'm okay, but I don't have that passion. Where'd it go? It's like the fires went out in my ship. <laughs> that made me think of, I'm watching eight, 1899 uh, on Netflix. Kind of reminds me of the movie Ghost Ship, but it's really good. But anyway, I was thinking about them shoveling in the coal. We're out of coal! <laughs> in here. God damn it. Oh, go get some. Okay, but it's coming from China's slow boat. <laughs> so I'm still waiting. Okay. <clears throat> what this is, is you're, you're going to be surprised at the little things that are going to come in. I don't feel they're going to be that little, though, for some reason. Spirit's like, no, no, these are going to be very noticeable things that are going to just light up your heart, fill your heart. Okay, this is everybody. It's almost like, I want to say, secrets of the heart, too. Okay? Yeah, I just heard this. They go, yeah, maybe the person that approaches you or, you know, whatever floats your boat over there could be someone you have a secret crush on nobody knows about. And then they just approach you. Maybe you've had a feeling. Maybe you've had dreams. Maybe you had connections. Maybe you've been writing this down. Maybe you've been pulling cards. We're going to get a confirmation this week. Okay. It's funny because I, re I sh shoveled, I shuffled this deck. I used that for the Divine Masculine. We have the sun and the woman. We are going to be shining so bright. This energy 
of Sagittarius, uh, the uh, uh, powered by Jupiter. Okay, that energy is combined is going to make us stand out extremely bright. We'll be shining. We'll be feeling this energy outside and inside. Okay, this week we're going to be lighting up more than we normally do. Okay, all right. There's going to be. I keep wanting to say there's going to be good news or action or something in the physical plane in areas that have been flatlined or crickets or whatever okay any uh, whatever area maybe we weren't feeling so bright about with the clouds now that's over if you've been feeling depressed and anxious because that did come up soon those clouds are being dis just dissolved okay the divine feminine is no longer fuzzy headed questioned anxiety depression it's there's this lift here okay spirits come in, in a huge way can't make this shit up okay even even if you isolate okay even if you just you you're like look i just can't even people i give up okay spirits it's gonna happen you're not gonna see it coming none of us will see these things coming no, we, we don't get it. Just a high thing, Spirit, for that. All right. Okay. So some of the things we're not going to be seeing with the moon. The fish. This is double intuition. Very strong flowing. It's going to be nonstop. It's not like we're getting breaks in between this, guys. This is going to be lighting up so much stuff in the physical plane. Like maybe there's certain things that I knew that was going to happen, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you read for others. Okay, maybe read for, you try to read for yourself and, you know, you go, oh, I'll pull cards for you too. And, and all this stuff happens to other people, it never happens to you. That's about to change. Pay attention. Spirit's going to switch us on. We, uh, it, it, I can't explain it any more, you know, stronger than that. Pay attention to those dreams. Okay, drink a lot of water. We need a lot of water this week too. For the divine feminine especially water is good for us anyway but i just hear drink lots of water try to make sure you're uh being careful what's going into the body i don't know who that's for make sure uh you don't way overindulge. be safe you'll enjoy things much more better and much more better <laughs> it'll be more enjoyable <laughs> and you want to be in a state of mind that's a little clearer. So when these things start moving and coming in, you're there for it all the way, right? Now, what we're not going to see, this is, I can't even make this up. The moon, the fish, and the ship. We're moving. Areas that were stagnant, that we didn't see something very close to us here. Whether it's your career, maybe you're not feeling anymore. It's like, I don't even know what to do next. Or maybe you've been doing something. It's like, I do feel passionate, but nothing's happening here. Maybe it's love. I just want to find my person. You know? Nothing. That's about to change. The water is flowing. And the ship is now in movement. Okay. Now, also... Some of you, if you're wondering, or maybe you're waiting on news, I don't know who this is for a specific message, whether or not you're going to be going overseas for the holiday since you have time off, it looks like that's going to be a go. You'll see the signs that it's, it's a good thing to do. If you're feeling it, do that, Spirit says. And don't worry, the trip's going to end up very, it's going to be great from the start to the finish and back home again, okay? Um, could be Japan. I don't know where I'm getting that. But yes. Okay. I don't know who that was for. Right. Um, <clears throat> also about traveling. <laughs> by land or by sea. Um, that just came in. Sorry. Um, some of you uh, maybe have been debating on whether to go on a cruise or maybe fly somewhere. Uh, just 
wait for the sign spirit's going to show you i don't know who that was for specifically okay there is a good emphasis on a flow so if you're worried about your travel plans spirit saying trust your beautiful intuition don't leave before that until it feels right for you and then everything's going to flow in your favor so you don't have to worry too much okay about getting to where you need to be for this weekend or this week all right let's get the tarot all right, we're using the Housewives Tarot. And, whoop, whoop, yeah. These are red up right, by the way, guys. Okay. <laughs> Some of you are hosting Thanksgiving at your house, huh? All right. Here we go. Need a drink. Speaking of water. All right, remember I don't read traditionally, I read energetically. All right, so there's gonna be a lot of energy coming in, motivation, starting about late Monday night. Um, <laughs> of course it would happen in the evening and we all have to get up early maybe and do stuff next day. Um, but there's a big emphasis on getting things done. Okay, for some of you that are actually having uh, Thanksgiving at your home, if you're celebrating, um, this is, you're gonna have all the energy like a teenager getting stuff done, okay? Now, <laughs> do yourself a favor, especially with the seven of wands. Make yourself a list as you go. That way you can not overwhelm yourself and end up doing 10 things at the same time and stuff gets, you know what I mean? And, and you, making it more than work than it should be. Spirit saying, yes, take that energy and yes, get your shit together, get things done. However, prioritize it. Take all that energy you got. I can get all this done, and, but stop and go, okay, I'm going to do this first. Only that when that's done, I go here. Spirit wants you to learn how to conserve that energy for the things that are a priority, okay? And not spread it around everywhere. You know what I mean? You could be in the middle of doing something, somebody goes, hey, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm there, dude, oh, ah, yay, I'm gonna go out. And, and you come back and you're in the middle and then you gotta get back in this and this is going on. Do you see what I'm saying? So Spirit's gonna be helping you to uh, stay on track with this vibing, high vibing energy to, I mean, some of you may have been just like, I haven't had no damn energy, what the hell? You're gonna have it now. And usually when we've been depleted of energy, even passionate wise, like feeling like, okay, I'm gonna clean house again. I'm gonna do this again. And you just, even though, okay, it's Thanksgiving. We tend to go towards the stressing part of it instead of enjoying, you know, going, it's gonna be cool. And, you know, looking forward to this. You know what I mean? It's the reverse. So, but Spirit's about to light the fire. So when we get that, those big bursts of energy and feeling good and stuff. We want to do everything everywhere all at once because <laughs> we don't know how long this is going to last. Like, Ugh. But Spirit saying, don't worry about it. It'll last longer if you do it. Use it, use it wisely. Okay, this energy. Okay. Now for some of you too, it matters of the heart. Okay. It could be a Knight of Wands writing in. Running into that seven of wands energy, kind of going like, you know, the seven of wands traditionally is like this guy standing with one wand defending what they believe in. And then there's these six other wands going, mm, kind of pushing them towards the edge, but they're, they're dug into the ground. They're like, I, I ain't budging. This is what I feel. This is what I believe in. Do not for no matter what the circumstances ever compromise what you are feeling for anyone. If it feels good to you, do that. If it doesn't, don't. If it feels good in the moment with someone new, okay? Maybe you're feeling passionate and you're flirty and stuff like that. Enjoy the moment. You don't have to worry about down the road. Why are you worried about down the road? This is now. Getting to know somebody now in this moment, okay? If you're not feeling right about extending that night with the, with the night, then don't. You'll know the next day or a couple days how that's gonna go okay that was a message for somebody out there all right here we go for those of you who have left things uh or let go of things walked away from toxicity okay you're now going to see again movement in the physical plane the wheel of fortune in the upright with the six of swords for those of you 
who seriously went, enough's enough, I'm out, and started making a new life and letting that pass. Nope, I want nothing more to do with that. I know my worth. That's not worthy. I like that. That's good. That's good. Nope, I don't want that for you. Uh, get ready because a whole bunch of stuff is coming in the physical plane to show you that everything you have done this year look back at where you were in January look look at what was going on and how you were feeling right before the summer of the summer like June July and now look at you now look at everything around you now look how 360 your life changed sometimes we have to step back and go hold because we don't want to look back at that crap <laughs> it's like I remember where I was now I'm good but sometimes it's nice to do that. Excuse you. I don't know. My spirit did that. Lots of paranormal activity. Expect that. <laughs> There's been a lot of stuff going on. No question. This happened with the Divine Masculine. Eight of Wands. Fast moving opportunities. Things moving quickly. And it's exciting. Get excited. Don't be stressed out. Everything is going according to the divine plan. Okay? Headed off. Headed and, and fueled by Jupiter. <laughs> and Spirit's just going to swoop in on us. <laughs> They're like, I just heard like one of my guys go, okay, look, you know, with you especially, <laughs> we have to catch you off guard. Or you won't allow this. Is it scary for you? I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Better be good. All right. We have the Five of Swords with the Nine of Cups. Okay. But the Five of Swords is choosing your battles. Okay. The Spirit says most of the battles that these new things that are coming in for the Divine Feminine are going to trigger. Okay, a lot of fear-based, fear of rejection, mainly. Sorry, I got two messages at once. It was very confusing because it was they were totally... This is about, you know your self-worth. You've made so many changes, okay? You don't need to fight anymore. You know what's right for you. And if you don't, just ask. Ask and you shall receive. Look at, and it's funny because I kept hearing uh, as I was going through this with you guys right now. Uh, from the beginning, was a wish is going to be granted. A one wish is going to be granted. A wish, is, and then we got the nine of cups here. Something you've always wanted is coming in, but it's got to come in and blindside you in order for it to. It's just how spirit rolls. Now, <laughs> you may run into some Knight of Sword energy here. Now, remember, when you're meeting new people, new situations, remember, you can put the sword down, or in this case, a jackknife. You can put that back in your pocket. You can handle anything without having, you know, being already ready to slice and dice before anybody says anything. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like you don't have to have your defense is up when meeting new people, okay? Because that could have us come across looking like this, the Knight of Swords, okay? Very brusque, very abrupt, and very like cold and clipped and cold, okay? A little bit of that Queen of Swords energy come in. We do get protective, especially if it's, say you left a toxic relationship that was just hell, okay? The ending was hell, okay? And you rose from the ashes. And you've been doing everything you can to work on yourself, to get to know yourself, to clear out stuff so you can be more open and, and you know, evolve up, whatever that is for you. And you've been wanting, like, oh, I want to connect. I want my divine person. I want the person I'm supposed to be with, you know, on the same page with my best friend and lover and da-da-da, whatever. And then here they come. And it could trigger. Because then you'll be, I, I, I don't know who, is this is for anybody specific or just in general, but spirits like, you don't want to 
you want to be open. Everything's going to happen very organically, though, Spirit says. So we won't have really any time to get that switch blade on and go, don't book with me. Or you've been there and done that. Okay? The time has come, though, for us to meet these people that we've been waiting on and waiting on. <laughs> Judgment, what we don't see. All the good works we've been doing for ourselves. Everything that we have been doing and, and feeling like there's just certain key areas that haven't been moving. Well, they will now. Career, especially love. So, okay. They want me to pull some more. Overall energy for Thanksgiving. It's going to be amazing. There's just so many good things coming in. Look at that. The Emperor. Now remember this, Spirit says. Remember this, okay? You only have control over you, okay? What you're doing in the moment. Keep the mind from wandering around and worrying and stressing about things that aren't even in front of you yet or Maybe they haven't even occurred. Armageddon scenarios. Watch those. Spirit says, as long as you can accept it is what it is and things are going to think it's going to work out. I don't know who that was. All of us. Oh, here we go. Here's the sun. There you go. Sun, strength. Oh, judgment came back out. Strength and judgment. For all your strength, being stronger, confident wise, um, being on the right path and... Uh, knowing that things, good things are coming to you, that, you know, your higher power, the destiny, the universe, whatever, Jupiter, you know, they're all blessing us with our stuff now. I mean, it's not like we haven't been seeing that, but now we're going to finally be stepping into that. I'm so excited about that. King of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. But tens are all about endings and new beginnings. So... You've learned everything you needed to learn about love, whether you had to go through something horrific to get with yourself and love yourself, okay? Now it's time. Now you're at a point where you can now go, okay, now I'm ready to expand in a new direction. And that's what brings in and invites the King of Pentacles in, okay? This could also be career. Something you love is about to come into your world because you decided, you know what, I'm going to open up and do this. Boom, there you go, honey. In a way we don't, won't even see coming. And it may, have, it may appear that um, it's taken forever for this to happen, but everything is in divine timing. Okay, for some of you, there's walking away. Some of you have anxiety about walking away from these things that need to go. But don't worry. Spirit says they are about to bless you with something that's going to make that anxiety kick rocks. Okay? Don't be stressing out on the things you've left behind because Spirit is going to show all of us here this week why, you know, it's worth it. It's all about the journey. All the journey that we've been on. All the work we've been doing. We are now going to see the path is opening up ahead so we can see everything so clearly. Okay. And being open for those messages from spirit, you know, this is the door to spirit is wide open. This is huge for the divine feminine. And I've been seeing this and saying this for a couple, few weeks now, but now we need to really be paying attention because they are sending signs. It's going to blow our minds. It's going to be an amazing week. And I hope you guys have a very safe, safe and fun and amazing Thanksgiving, guys. Thank you so much for your support. If I drive you to vibe, please like, share, and subscribe.